Welcome to Cook Love Eat 2.0, more than a cooking show. Once again, I bring you a collaboration with Shopping House, your personal grocer in Singapore. Today, I am joined by Ms. Kate Key, who is not only a cyber security expert, but has a great artistic streak to herself. She has recently used waste material to create a work of art that has been a hit on social media. Kate Key, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm also a big fan of your show. I have never imagined that I will be on a cookery show, but it is happening. So tell me, what is the significance of this fort in your culture? Why is it that you chose to use the Meiji Mill bottles to create this particular fort? In Maharashtra, during Diwali, all the kids built mud fort. The idea behind building the fort is to show your creativity. It also brings the unity among the kids while building the fort. So actually what happened when I came to Singapore, I was thinking that where will I get the bricks, where will I get the soil to build a Shivaji fort. So I created a structure with the use of these Meiji bottles. I used that to create a fort. Ketki, talking about wastage, normally children don't like to eat the sides of the bread and especially this piece which is the top piece and the bottom piece. So what I do is to make bread poha. First thing I want to do is chop the sides of the bread into smaller pieces. Heat up the pan and get some oil. Let's get some mustard seeds in there. And now I'm going to add in the red chilies, turmeric powder and curry leaves. And now I'm going to add in a little bit of onion. I like to add sambar powder to the poha. I'm adding in some frozen peas. And now we are ready to add the bread. I like to crisp up the bread a little bit. So at this point, I like to introduce a bit more oil. Let's season the dish with a little bit of salt. So the dish is almost done. And I'm going to finish it with some toasted peanuts. Tell me about Shopping House. How did you find out about Shopping House? One of the integral part of our lives is to have Alfonso mango. We called it as a hapus amba in Marathi. And I never thought that I will get the Alfonso mango in Singapore. When I was scrolling the Facebook, I saw the ad of Shopping House and I saw that there are the Alfonso mango. I ordered five dozen and I got the delivery on the same day. I liked it so much. It was a very nice experience. I hear that you placed another order for 15 dozen mangoes. Yes, yes. <laughs> wow! I want to eat mangoes all over the year. So I made the jam out of it. You can eat with roti, you can eat with bread, you can have it any time of the day. Turn the heat off. Let's get some fresh coriander in there. And lastly, we cannot forget some lime. This is ready to go. Let's plate it up. So Ketki, this is a little treat from Shopping House only for you. Mm, very nice. It's crispy from out and soft from inside. And the sambar powder is giving a very nice taste too. I'm so glad you like it and thank you so much for being on the show with me today. And if you have any unique talent like that and would like to be featured on our show, log on to www.shoppinghouse.com.sg. But before I leave, let me remind you that when food is cooked with love, served with love and eaten with love, it not only nourishes your body but also your soul. Thank <laughs> you.